Right, hello again. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and get the whole tutorial in 10 minutes this time, considering the other one went a bit wrong. Um, the reason it was in two parts was because the software Windows Media me, Movie Maker um, was being a bit stupid because my camera, um, when you take the videos off my camera, it's in an MOV file and I've got to find some sort of converter and oh, just hell. Anyway, today I'm going to do a sort of very simple look. It's, um, it's a look that I use a lot. Um, if you don't feel like really glamming yourself completely up, you just want to go out, you know, work or college, school, where, wherever, but you, you also just want to put a little bit of colour on your eyes. Um, I find this really a good technique to do. Um, I'm going to be using not much makeup actually. Um, I've already covered my face in foundation once again. Um, but I'm going to be using these. This one's been used a lot, obviously. These are eye crayons. They're called Idle Eyes, and they're by the Collection 2000 Eye Shimmer Crayon. And this one's Bling. That's what it's called. <laughs> and this one would be Emerald City, from what I can read. Right. So, without further ado, um, right. Going to start off. You completely go over the top of your eye. Just line the top of it. And sort of stop. I don't know. Um, you don't really want to go near your tear duct. So just sort of over the lid really. Just line it. And you, I'd do it out in a flick. It looks better like that. Just go over it to make sure it's really green. And really dark. Like so. And I also do a little bit down the corner, right along the waterline. Actually, in fact, I do quite a bit along the bottom. As you can see already, it looks really green, really effective, but it's hardly any makeup at all. So quick. And then once again on the other eye. Because you know, you don't always feel like getting all the makeup brushes out and doing something really over the top when you're only going to work or something. It just seems a bit silly. So the majority of the eye is lined with the Emerald City and then you go on to the bling. This is actually quite good if it's heated up but don't melt it because obviously you can't use it if you melt it. Um, and you just go around the corners so the bits that you didn't go over with the green you will now go over with silver. I'm going to put my mirror here because I can't honestly see what I'm doing with it over there. I mean, even overlap the green if you have to. But the idea is that the silver catches the light. And if none of you don't already know, um, a light colour around the tear ducts is very flattering. It makes you look more awake. Hence why I use it a lot of the time. <laughs> So as you can see, that's that so far. Um, lately I've been adding a little bit more to it, so to sort of make it look a little bit more effective. If you can hear that, just ignore it, that would be my cat. I'm going to use my palette again, and I'm going to use this um, sort of sagey colour, sort of like an olive green. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use a little bit of that. And just add it to the corners of the green and sort of over the top of the line that you've already done just to make it really green, really effective and stand out. And then the same with the other eye and that'd be my budgie. 
live in a bit of a madhouse. But wouldn't have it any other way. Um, and then, once you've done that, add a bit more white. So the white colour. Because you've already got the silver, it will stick. And shouldn't go in your eye. <laughs> had plenty of that last time. Like that. Um, and then you quickly, or as quickly as you can, grab some mascara. I'm going to put it on this time, so I decided against it last time. <laughs> um, and you just put, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you don't have a ton. I usually recommend black with anything with vivid colours because brown. Well, actually, you could use coloured mascara, but if you're going to use something natural for mascara, then use black. Because brown is just weak, in my opinion, anyway. So that's one eye. And the other. I always end up spending a bomb on mascara, so this time I went for a cheaper one. Yeah, Rimmel London, cheaper, huh? Shows what I spent before. It doesn't really matter, I mean, it all dries up in the end, so... Why spend about a tenner if it's going to do the same job? I know a, a mascara isn't just a mascara, but, you know... To a fair extent, it is. I always get asked if I've used the mascaras before in like boots or something. Can you tell me how it goes? Like, yeah, sure. If I, if I remember. Um, and then obviously to finish the look off. In fact, I'm just going to grab, whoops, my lipstick. This is Champagne Pink by Ramel London. And this. Really vivid pink and it goes really well with the green. So hopefully that filmed into 10 minutes and hopefully I might think some more tutorials in the future with some maybe brighter colours and more unusual things that you wouldn't just use to go to work with. But anyway, enjoy.